going on, everyone? It's Rizzo's Rise, repping Team Mazda at the Bullet Auto Mall off Columbus Parkway. Arc Tanks. Tanks. Right behind me, I got three of your trims. I got a carbon edition Mazda CX-30 as preferred package and your select sport base entry trim. But before we get into the CX-30s, let's talk about what's going on here. Mazda, we got our CX-30, the smallest crossover in the SUV lineup, CX-50, your CX-70, which will be a lot like your CX-90, and the best-selling compact SUV, your CX-5. What makes the CX-30 a lot different compared to the other competitors? You're a lot more planted to the ground. You got all-wheel drive, and you got the luxurious features that Mazda offers way better than the competition. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna go out, we're gonna go all the way around and look at our Mazda CX-30. And let's open the hood of our CX-30. You're looking at a 2.5 liter inline four Sky Active G engine, putting out 191 horsepower, 186 pound feet of torque, easily accessible for your ABS module, washer fluid, oil, OW20, your battery fuses, your air box for your compressors, your brake fluid, and just that tiny spot there, which is actually a lot of room for the turbo if you were to upgrade in your CX-30s. This is the tried and true 2.5 liter found across majority of our Mazda vehicles. Starting here with our entry level trim, the Select Sport Mazda CX-30, 18 inch rims on all your CX-30s from the Select Sport and upwards. And as you can tell, the biggest identifier with the CX-30s, just like your CX-50s and your second generation CX-5s, I'm talking about from 2017 to 2023, plastic cladding on the wheel wells here. So the all wheel drive system for your twisty bits, you're going through those muddy roads or sandy bits, will take a better beating over time. LED headlights and tail lights, adaptive headlights with Mazda, meaning when you turn left and right with the steering wheel, the direction of the wheel will turn with your lights. For your Mazda CX-30, this Select Sport base entry level trim doesn't have your sunroof, does have your Mazda advanced keyless entry, meaning when you walk up, put your hand on here, the door will open as long as the key is in the Bluetooth range, as well as auto lock for when you do walk away, vehicle automatically locks. You can turn that feature on and off. One touch on your gas, can there the gas tank is located on the left side for mazda north america and your cx-30 suspension comes with the rear torsion beam and look at those led tail lights on the rear of your cx-30 as we move up to our preferred package you are getting the silver alloy wheels and wheel locks sunroof on your preferred package here on the carbon edition just like your select sport it's going to be your black rims and wheel locks sunroof just like your preferred poly metal gray that comes in the carbon edition. Starting with our carbon edition on the left side, here are the headlights and turn signals for your preferred here in the middle and your select sport on the far right. Now let's check the interior of our Mazda CX-30s and see which one is worth the extra upgrades. Let's hop in our select sport Mazda CX-30. So this is the Select Sport entry level trim for the Mazda CX-30. Look at that black all around. Door panel is a little smaller. I'd say go for a medium sized drink and a couple slices of a New York fat slice pizza. You got one touch windows, gloss black on the door panel there and just stitching silver grayish to complement the accents here on the rest of the doors and going from the door panel to our driver's seat it is manually adjustable seats leather perforated and once again this being the entry level no sunroof but you do have the grayish headliner you got to adjust manually for the seats all your mazda steering wheels tilting telescopic 
You can turn off your eye active safety sense as well as hill assist for all wheel drive. You have a cubby for your coins. I know what I'm gonna put in there. Smaller infotainment screen. This is eight inches, so it doesn't go all the way from left to right, but it does get the center of attention there. That is controlled by your dial here that goes up and down. You can go back, you can go your navigation, you can go home, click on your audio entertainment. Leather wrapped shift knob controlling that six speed automatic transmission. Two of our cup holders there and a little cubby for our phone storage. This would be the space for your heated ventilated seats and or your steering wheel. Cubby storage, you have two layers, two levels. And look at the AC vents integrated in the dash. Soft touch, that accented stitching. You can see who has their seatbelt on in the rear. You have your sunglass holder and an extension for your sunshade blocker when you are whipping it on the road. Open up the cubby, you can slide back and forth, depending where your elbow is. USB-C outlets and this little divider figure out where you want to put certain things make sure it's in there properly you can only move this forward if you grab it on the bottom and push it forward and back so it doesn't move if you just jerk it you can set it to be a certain area so you can have wires coming out of there leather wrapped steering wheel of your Mazda CX-30 you can set your cruise control to be a certain speed active or adaptive Right, how many car lengths do you want in front of you? Headlights auto, windshield wiper autos, controlling your front and rear wipers on the right side. Let's see how the turn signals sound. You can turn up and down the volume setting. Clicking more through our steering wheel, you can call the Bluetooth or your Siri Google Play Voice. You can also hang up the phone or cancel the call. Once you click that info button, you can know your MPG. You can have your Mazda Eye Active Safety Sense or your just classic tachometer there up to 6,500 RPM. And this is the sport mode to just activate, hold your revs higher and tweak the suspension a little bit. Let's check out the rear passenger seat on the door panel you have space for a medium sized drink one touch on your window and just that accented soft you have one pocket there behind the passenger shotgun seat none behind the driver at this somewhat soft middle console area two cup holders and in the cx30 to care about your rear passengers you have ac vents here are the buttons for your car seats to put the seats down, you simply pull it down. Does the 40, 60 split in your CX-30. As I hop in, I'm sitting about five foot nine tall. And that's the seat where I would be sitting for five foot nine, almost perfect space. I could sit comfortably back here for maybe three hours, but my thighs are lacking the support. That's how it is when you get a compact car. And look at more of that interior of the Select Sport Mazda CX-30. Rear wiper and brake light there on the top of your CX-30. Pull it up to open. And this is the trunk space of our CX-30. Small area here in your cubbies, maybe one or two plastic water bottles. And this would be the privacy cover area. Open it up. You do have your spare tire that comes in all of your Mazdas. Here's the trunk space of your CX-30, 20.2 cubic feet of space with the seats up. And if you wanna put the seats down, you can opening the rear doors or you simply click on that button lever to dislodge it. Throw it down there. And definitely doubling the size capacity at 45.2 cubic feet of space. Almost lays flat down, but look how much space 
you have in this crossover SUV, the smallest compact crossover that Mazda offers, the CX-30. Here's our window sticker for our CX-30 Select Sport. Now let's hop into our preferred package, Mazda CX-30 in the beautiful Soul Red. And as we hop into our Soul Red Crystal Metallic CX-30 preferred package, Almost the same exact stitching found in the Select Sport. But with your preferred package, you upgrade to get electric assist for the driver, lumbar, reclining back and forth, and two memory seats. So if you want someone to borrow or your partner is driving your CX-30, you can set the memory seats. And biggest identifier, when you step up to the preferred, you get that sunroof. Also in the CX-30 Preferred, you upgrade to get heated seats, almost identical to the Select Sport with the trim accents and also infotainment being that 8.8 .8 inch. Now let's hop into our Carbon Edition Mazda CX-30. Now we're hopping into our Carbon Edition Pog Metal Gray Metallic CX-30. And just a difference identifier, you have red stitching, same compliments on the door, but with the carbon, you do get that sexy red memory seats for the driver, heated seats, wireless charger, and red accent stitching, interior of the red, and your sunroof, can't forget about that. And in the Carbon Edition CX-30, once again, that 8.8 .8 system, minor details added to the CX-30, full carbon fiber. In the Carbon Edition CX-30, you do get upgraded mats as well as in the preferred trim, but these are a little more rugged for all weather. And surprise, surprise, here's the CX-30 in our showroom, waiting for you to come visit, has the four wheel disc brace all around. And you can option the wheel locks on all the trims here. But look at the poly metal gray in our showroom. Just that cuddle design and craftsmanship and detail that Mazda is putting in their vehicles today. The CX-30 is on your carbon preferred and select sport. You have to manually open. And once again, 20.2 cubic feet of space, 45.2 with the seats down. And here's the red interior still in immaculate condition in our showroom and i'm sitting about five foot nine tall let's look at our blind spots looking at our right side so if i'm there's my mirrors if i'm looking at the right side someone is sitting there and that's what it would look like if you look over your right shoulder quarter panel window there and this is what it is looking outside the back when you are reversing now for our drivers, once again, this is just us simply looking at our blind spot areas. These do tilt down when you go in reverse. And at our left side, there is our window sticker. And if you are looking back to the left there, you should probably use the mirrors on the driver side. And this is what our CX-3 looks like when we reverse, brake, or have our turn signals on from the rear tail lights. Alrighty, folks, we're going to wrap things up here at DDGG Team Mazda Vallejo at the Auto Mall off Columbus Parkway. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and appreciate you stopping by to view our three different trims of the Mazda CX-30. Give me a call. Text 707-647-9103 and come experience Mazda.